Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros. i um, doing this video for my computer org class or for anyone who else is interested. Uh, I want to show or demonstrate how uh, floating point numbers are converted to integers and kind of the problems you run into. Them. It's a two step process. I'm also going to demonstrate how to load them from memory. Well, the first thing we want to do, we've got a program set up here, is to get the number, we call it big num, from memory into floating point register. There's a couple ways to do it. I'm going to show you what might be called the proper way to do it, and that's to load the address into a register. So we'll say load the address of T0 with a big num. Okay, And then what I want to do is I want to uh, load double. Um, uh, and again, there's several, there several load operations you have to work with here. Uh, load double C1, and we want to put that into a floating point register and zero offset from the address in T0. Okay, load, <coughs> we'll say load double uh, floating point number. Now remember, if you don't already know, double floating precision numbers have to go in even numbered registers because they use an even odd pair. They use two registers side by side to actually represent the number. It's 64 bits. So it had that first register has to be an even numbered register. <clears throat> so now it's in the register. We want to convert it to a um, uh, an integer. And uh, to do that, what we do is we run the convert routine. Now the two letters that follow dictate what it's going to be. The first letter is the uh, source, which means an integer, which is a W, and then the, de uh, the I mean, that's the destination, excuse me, let me back up here. The first letter is the, um, the what you want to convert it to, which is an integer, and the second one is what it is now, which is a double floating point number, and we typically use the same register. You don't have to, but it's going to go from the right one to the left. And then the last thing you want to do is to uh, move it uh, from a floating point register to an integer register. So that's an MFC1. And we'll put it in, we'll say um, T1, T1, okay, dollar sign F2. So this is actually going to take the um, integer in the floating point register and put into T1. This comment right here is. Uh, take the double floating point num and convert to integer. So it's a two-step process. Let's convince ourselves that we did indeed convert it properly. So we're going to load immediate into v0, the number one, which is to uh, print an int, uh, load, uh, move the number uh, from uh, t1 move number to A0 so we can print it and do a syscall. Okay, we're going to save this and now we're going to bring up our uh, QT spin. We're going to reinitialize and we want to get the float int or double to int. Okay, open it up. Looks pretty good. Simulator, we want to run it. And there we have the number three. Now, I want to do something. Okay, let's go back into our program and let's convert this to a 9. Let's say, go up here and say that's a 9. Okay, so 3.9. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happens. Let's save it. Make sure we save it. And we're going to go over here and we're going to reinitialize and load the file again. And again, we want to double to int. Okay, and we're, we're going to run. And ah, see what it did? Okay, 3.9. What it did was it actually truncated it. What if you don't want to truncate it and you want to round it off? How do you do that? Okay. Well, <clears throat> um, um, I'm told that the uh, uh, rounding error will actually work uh, in this particular case. Okay. So uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to do a round operation. So instead of doing a convert, okay, we're going to come down here and we're going to replace this convert, and we're going to say. Uh, round, okay, and what we want to do is we want to, uh, it's a, actually a round uh, w dot d, and so let me go take our things here and move them out a little bit so we have room for them. Now you don't, 
and you don't do this too often typically you go from floating point to or integer to floating point but uh, we don't like to do this too much so what we want to do now is F2 or sign F2 so what we're going to do is we're going to take a double floating point number and round to an int okay so let's save that and let's see how that works okay we'll go back to our program right here file reinitialize the load and we want the float to double to int say okay looks all right simulator run and there we have four all right so <coughs> excuse me good little lesson good little lesson um, how you actually take a floating point number loaded in from memory uh, convert it to, to a uh, integer and we saw both the truncation and the rounding effort uh, uh, again to store it back if we wanted to do that it would be uh, the uh, store uh, S, uh, SWC1 I uh, hope this helps out I look forward to doing others for you and have a good day